and welcome to the Online Trainers Podcast, where we go behind the scenes to uncover the latest tactics and strategies top trainers around the world are using to get more clients, dominate their marketplace, and get their clients amazing results. There is absolutely no fluff here. I'm your host, Lynn Trin. Hello, and welcome back to this episode. On today's episode, I really want to talk about the concept of the linchpin and how by finding your own linchpin, you can really pull yourself under the rug, overcome resistance and break through to success. Now that sounds like a fantastic idea. And you know what, if this was me three years ago, I'd be thinking, holy crap, Lynn, that sounds like a load of crap. But it wasn't until I found my own linchpin that really solidified everything inside my nervous system. And a big proponent of this is a lot of the times, most personal trainers jumping online have these two fears, these two fears that they're getting completely held back from, that they fear that they're not good enough. This fear is going to hold you back. It's going to paralyze you. So it's a fear that your content is not good enough, that you don't know enough. And also the other fear is that when you're going to be putting stuff out there is that the fear that you're not going to be loved. Okay. So these two fears are what's going to paralyze you. And so if you find this linchpin, I mean, you can do all this stuff like, you know, change your limiting beliefs and tell yourself that you're good enough. But I believe, and here's the thing, I believe these fears are there for a reason. They're there to protect us, okay? And you can go out there and you can say to yourself, right, I am good enough. Or you can do a whole bunch of affirmations and you can have your most amazing morning ritual. And I know only because I did all this stuff, I did all this kind of low level stuff. There's one thing and that's called the linchpin that if you do this, you do this action that you've been putting off, you will solidify that inside your nervous system. So now you've got no doubt, you've completely eradicated those fears, you've put them aside and you're able to step up to that next level. And I see this so many times inside the industry and inside the online trainers group that there are personal trainers who have great knowledge, but they're not willing to go in. They're not really willing to step up because they've got these things and on the surface it might not look like you're fearful of anything you're like Lynn I'm not fearful of anything and I'm like well if you're not fearful then why haven't you put out your amazing stuff why haven't you done that live Facebook video because you fear of being judged which leads to a fear of not being loved okay so if you understand this if you understand yourself and what motivates you and drives you and if you can really get it inside your nervous system that you're the bee's knees that you are the best because if you are listening to this online trainers podcast and you are great at what you do and you get clients results, you should be out there. And I've said this time and time again, if you don't, if you can't get clients results, you need to learn how to get clients results and you need to become better at your craft. You need to dig down deeper into your niche and you need to learn more. And that doesn't take long. So many people have this limiting belief that it takes three years or five years to become this expert when, you know, if you immerse yourself for the next month, for the next three months, and I'm talking about immersion, you subscribe to all the podcasts about, you know, hormonal stuff with mothers. You went to three courses in the next three months on that stuff with mothers. You watched YouTube videos, followed these gurus and listened to their podcast shows. You could essentially become a great expert. And of course, if you go in with that mindset of having constant and never ending improvement, you always want to be better and better. That's not going to stop. But here's the thing. You don't need three to five years. You need to get started now, but you need to immerse yourself in the process and understand that learning never stops. All right, so as you can see, this is an area I'm passionate about only because it's gotten me the most excited because as soon as I've understood this, it's really propelled everything forward for me personally, okay? And it's called the linchpin. Now, I think for me, it was really the linchpin and how this all came about, I'll tell you my story, was really talking at one of my good mates' fitness business summit. I had known all this information for a long time. I, everything in my head, I haven't just suddenly transformed, okay? So a lot of people were like, well, Lynn, where did you get all this information from? How have you learned all this in the past month? No, I've been a consumer of information for so long. I've spent, you know, since 2013, for three years, you can ask my partner, Kerry, that I've spent every night probably watching a YouTube channel, watching a course, watching Russell Brunson, watching Frank Kurt, right? I've immersed myself in this and I felt good at the time because I was like, look, I'm consuming. And then, you know, that's what I told myself I needed to do to become an expert. And then it got to a point where I was consuming so much bloody content, I was frustrated because I was like, I'm not taking any action. And if you've ever been in that point, it's bloody frustrating because you're like, I know all this stuff, but I don't know if I'm good enough. Yeah, and ultimately comes down to that. 
And really it wasn't, you know, for a long time I could say, well, I don't know if I'm good enough. And then people would tell me, Lynn, you're awesome at what you do. You are really good. You should get out there. And it's like, okay, that's great. And then I would put something out there, but I would kind of dabble, you know, I wouldn't go a hundred percent all in. I'd put it out and I'd be like, oh guys, I hope you like this post, but it wasn't with full passion and it wasn't with full, you know, commitment that I'm going to do this no matter what, that I'm going to write a post every single day for the next year, no matter what. Okay, my commitment was I'm going to put out a post and if people like it, then I'll keep doing it. And if people don't like it, I'm screwed. (laughs) Okay, and that's the mindset that I was in. And if you're ever in that mindset, it's probably not good only because your validation of yourself requires, you know, constant positive feedback. And we know in this world it's hard. You know, there are haters everywhere out there, right? But if, if you're relying on other people to tell you and, and affirm that you're good enough, you're not going to get anywhere. So where does that lead us to the linchpin? Well, it wasn't until this year where Hayden and I had been working together. We'd done a lot of stuff together. We'd hung around and I helped him a lot with his fitness summit and I helped him with his strategy. But he told me, Lynn, you know, you have to share this information. What you've done is absolutely amazing. You have to share it. You'll be one of the best speakers on stage. We've got to get you on. And I said, look, okay. That was my linchpin. It was like, oh, holy crap. I'd never spoken in front of 150 people, but more so personal trainers, you know, who I also looked up to as a personal trainer myself. I grew up going to their own events, going to their own coaches. And now I was kind of stepping up to teaching them about marketing, about lead generation, about funnel development and strategy, more importantly. But that was the linchpin because as soon as I did that and as soon as I said, look, you know what, how bad could it be? I mean, it was pretty terrifying because I remember the night before I couldn't sleep. I'm a guy that really does my presentations very last minute. So that night I stayed up, literally got up at like 3 a.m., slept at 12, got up at 3 a.m., started and finished the presentation. And then I got on at about 9 or 10 in the morning. And that was the linchpin because as soon as I did that, this was the most fearful thing. Okay, as soon as I did that, it was blown away. People loved the content and there was all this affirmation that just built up and it reached this threshold, right? Inside your nervous system that it reaches this threshold that it eradicates those fears. And, you know, yes, I'm not saying that the fear is gone and it's over, but you've reached a new level and a new height. And why most personal trainers don't succeed is that they never, ever break through that fear because they're doing a lot of small actionable things. Right, They're doing the other 80% of things that really only give you 20% of the results, whereas you want this 20% linchpin that's going to get you that momentum to give you 80% of the results. Okay, So with this, with this linchpin of mine, I was like, wow, all these people are telling me how great I am. I kind of knew I was good because I'd been consuming information every bloody night for the last three years. And I'd been, you know, in the dental marketing space, I'd been getting results for them. But it really you know, a part of me went into dentist because nobody knew who I was. So I could go in, I could, you know, blow up quickly and I couldn't be judged. And that was that fear of not being judged. Whereas inside the fitness industry, a lot of people knew who I was, especially in Melbourne, Australia, because I had been a personal trainer here for seven years and I'd gone to a lot of the courses. So once I overcame that linchpin, it was inside my nervous system. It wasn't so much that I was thinking about it consciously. Now it's in my subconscious mind that I know I've got this information that I need to share. Okay. And I'm not saying that, you know, you break through this linchpin and you eradicate the fears. No, you're just going to get to that next level. And that next level might be, okay, well, now I'm going to go talk in front of a thousand people to really solidify myself and whatnot. But what I'm trying to say is that for every person who's trying to, trying to succeed online, you have two fears. Okay. And unless you eradicate those fears, that's really going to be holding you back. And you're probably not even aware because right now, like I was, I was concerned consuming content. I was listening to things. I was trying to learn more. And that fed me because it was releasing all this dopamine that I was like, yes, I'm learning more. But really, the learning is in the doing. The learning isn't in the reading. Okay. Nobody ever learns anything unless you really do it. Because the first time you do it, chances are you're going to fail. But you learn from that failure. And if you try it again, you're going to do it a different way. And then if you try a hundred times, you'll probably succeed. Okay. What you need to do If you're feeling this, if you're feeling like you're consuming too much content, if you're feeling as though you're not getting out there, you need to find this linchpin and just break through it. There's no point of playing small because I've tried playing small and this is my best advice. And I know that if I'm telling you this now, you're going to be like, yeah, that sounds good, but I'll stay in my comfort zone. And you know what? If that's fine for you, then that's a decision you need to make. And that's a decision that in the next 10 years, you're going to have to deal with. Okay. But 
if you're frustrated, if you've reached that tipping point, you're like, Lynn, I know too much, but I just can't do anything. You feel paralyzed. You need to go find that linchpin. And whether or not it's going and speaking in front of a hundred people, whether or not it's going and writing a book, whether or not it's going and saying, look, I need to be on podcasts. So I'm going to go and ask all these people to go onto their podcast to share my message. Do something that absolutely frightens you that then allows that you can prove to yourself that you're good enough. So the first question you need to ask yourself, you know, what do you need to prove to yourself that you're good enough? And for me, I didn't really understand this because at the time it was like, okay, well, I need people to tell me I'm good and a lot of people to tell me I'm good. But more importantly, the people that I respected to tell me I was good. That's what I needed to do. And that's the validation. And that can be dangerous within itself because you're seeking external validation, which, you know, we know that's never a happy ending if we're only happy if other people are happy with us. But that's another topic. What I do want you to understand is that everybody's got a linchpin. There's an action that you've been putting off, okay? It's an action or you haven't even thought of the action, but if you do this thing, it's going to propel you forward. It's going to give you that self-belief. It's going to make you a lot stronger and it's going to say, this is my area. I can absolutely crush it. If you can't crush it yet, then go and immerse yourself for the next month, for the next three months and learn to crush it. Because I think, you know, life's too short. There are a lot of mediocre trainers out there that want so much money, but aren't willing to be better at their craft. And I'm not trying to help the trainers that are crap to grow. I'm helping the trainers that are awesome, that are just too shy to spread their message, that can't make that breakthrough. I'm helping you, okay? And if that's you and you want to become better, then you need to start becoming outstanding. You need to start playing at a different level. You have to change what you're currently doing now in order for you to grow, okay? Because everything that you've done now in your life has led you to this very point You're here because of all the actions you've taken. Your income in your bank account is from all the action that you've taken and all the knowledge that you know and all the stuff that you've shared. If you want a bigger income, you're going to need to do things a little bit differently, okay? But firstly, in order to do that, you need to break these patterns that you're not even unaware of. And I wasn't even unaware of, but then I started to think, wow, what really has propelled all this action? What really has propelled all this belief and self-confidence and passion and really getting pulled towards your vision? I know this sounds all airy-fairy, but trust me, it is this one linchpin that's going to do one for you and if you do it if you can validate it yourself and get the momentum and go all in hey there were so many times that i want to tell hayden man i'm not going to speak there were but knowing me i couldn't let him down and so that held me accountable i want you to think about that one thing for you and if there's something that you need to do today or something that you need to put yourself into a corner so that you can grow then you have to do that action especially if you want to grow but if you don't want to grow that's a different story Okay, and but you need to be able to deal with the consequences and the outcome and deal with the result of why you didn't grow later on and have all this regret, which isn't a very, very fun thing to do. But please go off and do that action today. And if you really like this podcast, let me know and leave a rating review so that I know what content you start to like, whether or not you want more strategy, you want more tactics, or you want to overcome more mindset stuff. I'm really trying to give you that whole aspect growth of who and what you need to overcome in order to become more successful. Only I didn't want to use the word success only because that's subjective. So you might be successful in your own mind. I want to become, you know, I want you to become more successful. Okay. So have a fantastic day and I look forward to chatting with you soon. And obviously if you're not in the online trainers club, come and join the group. There's a lot of action happening in there. There's a lot of really good questions. All this stuff that I've built, it's really for me, this community. It has to be high quality questions, has to be high level of engagement and really thinking at a different level. And if you're a trainer and you're just starting out, it's worthwhile going and immersing yourself and learning this stuff, okay? And asking better questions and reading the content. If you're a trainer and you want more strategies, that group's for you as well because there are some incredible, incredible people in there. I definitely don't have all the answers, but what I am doing is willing to show you what I've been able to do to get to where I am. Okay. And hopefully that helps. And you know, if I can help you grow, fantastic that I've done my job. So have a fantastic day and I look forward to being in your ears once again tomorrow. 
All right. If you enjoyed this podcast, please leave me a five-star review on iTunes and feel free to leave a review in that way. I can respond and I can take that on board in developing content to serve you. Now, if you're not a part of the Online Trainers Club on Facebook, please do yourself a favor and be a part of the conversation. That's where I add daily tips, tricks, and strategies on how you can build out funnels, how you can get more clients, and ultimately become a better online coach. Thank you for listening. 